Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So in my previous video, I had uh, discussed with two important protocols. Uh, one is stop and wait protocol and another one is go back and protocol with respect to the transport layer protocols. Okay. So we have covered till now three videos from this module with respect to transport layer protocols. All of them are very important. Please go and watch it. Okay. So in this video, we will be discussing one more kind of protocol that is called as selective repeat protocol. Okay. What do you mean by this protocol? Everything in detail we are discussing in this video. So stay tuned and watch till the end. Okay. So let us start now. The go back N protocol simplifies the process at the receiver end. Why? Because till now whatever we have seen, right? Two protocols. One is uh, stop and wait and go back N. In, bo in both the things, if you observe in the receiver side, in the receiving frame window, the size was only one, right? It was very uh, simple. The process was very simplified. But here uh, in this selective repeat protocol, the process becomes complicated in the receiving end because the acknowledgement is not happening simultaneously of only one packet at a time. Okay. So here the receiver keeps track of only one variable and there is no need to buffer out out of order packets. That is packets are sent randomly at the acknowledgement sent in the receiver side and uh, based on the number of acknowledgement uh, received that many number of acknowledgements are sent to the sender side. Okay. So here that's one thing and the receiver side and the receiver window would be again same as the send window as we see in the uh, go back end protocol, right? In go back end protocol, the send window size was fixed, right? You could be having the size as four and that many number of increments would be taking place with respect to the uh, shifting, right? So the same thing happens in the selective repeat protocol send, send window, but it is same as the receive window, okay? So the receive window procedure would be same as the send window in case of selective repeat. Whereas in the go back end, it was not like that because acknowledgement would be sent only one one packet at a time. Okay, here the acknowledgements can be sent by uh, combining multiple packets. Okay, yeah. So here they are simply discarded. However, this protocol is inefficient if the underlying network protocol loses a lot of packets. Okay, so each time a single packet is lost or corrupted. So here, why? Because the acknowledgements are not that accurate. It would be mostly uh, corrupted if, you, if we sent multiple packets at a time. So that's why if the acknowledgements are corrupted, we won't be uh, having a lot of packets at the sender side after the acknowledgement. So that's why the packets are also corrupted in this uh, selective repeat protocol. So the sender resends all outstanding packets, even though some of these packets may have been received safe and sound, but out of order. If the network layer is losing many packets because of congestion in the network, the resending of all these outstanding packets makes the congestion worse and eventually more packets are lost. Okay. So the, because of this condition of congestion, the packets which are already getting lost which are, would, be, would be in the more lost state and the number of packets which would be received is also very less. Okay. So this has an avalanche effect that may result in the total collapse of the network. Why? Because if the, we are not having any network pa packets which are receiving and uh, getting sent and uh, if there is a uh, corruption taking place in each iteration then we would be seeing that the network complete network would be collapsed and it won't be reaching the uh, final state under protocol okay so that's why another pro protocol called the selective repeat protocol has been devised which in the name itself it implies that it resends only the selective packets okay so the selective repeat procedure is basically happening in the receiver end and only the selective packets are sent through the acknowledgements and it would be uh, happening in the smooth manner. Okay. So here one difference I've told you if you compare it with go back in that is at the acknowledgement side at the receiving end multiple packets can be uh, sent through that through the acknowledgement. But here it depends on the characteristic of that packet only the selected packets are sent and the acknowledgements are getting uh, sent to the sender side. Okay. So that's one difference in this selective repeat protocol. So yeah, outline of the selective repeat you see here in the frame window, it is same as the send window here, the receive window and send window order remains the same. And here, uh, uh, this uh, blue shaded box indicates that sent, but not acknowledgement gray shaded box indi indicates that acknowledged, but it is out of order. But here in the receive window, the gray boxes indicates that the packets received are out of order. And these are the blue, uh, white boxes which indicates that those packets are getting selected and getting uh, received uh, in the acknowledgement layer. Okay. So yeah. And like this, the outline 
which remains same as the previous protocols it uh, doesn't affect the logic channels remains the same uh, packets are sent here and acknowledgements are sent like this and the procedure remains the same okay only this one major change is there with respect to send window and receive window so the send window again the order remains the same and one by one the iteration takes place and uh, it would be incrementing the values based on the frame uh, frame size okay so this is the frame size which consists of eight boxes zero to seven after one increment it would be one to eight then uh, two to nine three to ten like that it goes on okay and in the receiving end also the the same procedure is repeated here okay yeah the timer acknowledgements and all are the same but only change is in the fsm okay that is the finite state model what happens here let us see fsm for the selective repeat protocol first in the ready state what and all are the operations happening when whenever there is timeout you should be resetting all the outstanding packets and reset the timer and you should be repeating the procedure and uh, again when you should be repeating the procedure it is in case of corrupted acknowledgement and uh, one more time we should be repeating the procedure at the end phase okay now this is not now this is after the acknowledgement phase so this you do, should not be doing at the first next procedure is this one that is request came from process that is you should be making a packet of sequence number as suffix n store a copy of that in the send window and you should be sending that packet start the timer for this packet you should be setting the value of s of n as s of n plus one for the next packet arrival right so this is again condition based on the window size if it is full then only you should be sending to the blocking state if the uh, if it is not full then only you should be sending to the blocking state if the window size is full then you should be sending back to the ready state for the next packet to be arriving and uh, in the blocking state again timeout happens you should be resending all the outstanding packets and uh, in case of corrupted packets but here here while we send the acknowledgement by, because we are sending only for selective packets right so that's why Acknowledgement is only sent for selective packets. That is, if the selective packets uh, are sent and the window slides, then it is sent to the ready state and the acknowledgement is received at the sender side. In case if the window is not sliding and that packet is not getting selected, then you should be again sending back to the blocking state. Okay. So here, uh, finally, an error-free acknowledgement arrived based on the selected packets, and uh, you should be repeating the procedure completely for the sender okay so this is the sender block of fsm block you need to be noting this down receiver block again it remains the same there is no change here error free packet and uh, error free packet for sequence number acknowledgement number and corrupted packet and it remains the same okay so note it down guys fsm for selective repeat protocol so yeah this was all about the selective repeat protocol hope it is clear Please watch all of our previous videos where we have discussed all the different protocols in order to understand this in a better way. You should be watching the previous whatever I've discussed. Okay. Then only you could be understanding whatever I've told in this video. Okay. Yeah. So that's all for this video, guys. We are left with only few concepts from module four that we are going to be covering in the upcoming video. Stay tuned. Watch all of our videos. Okay. Thank you.